Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to A Different Opinion. Today we'll be jumping into North Korea, a story which is very sad, really, about two teenagers who were actually executed for watching and distributing South Korean movies. Very, very sad. I mean, to watch movies and things like that, to get executed is, is horrible. And in front of a crowd, in front of a crowd as well. So it's from the Daily Express, and before we do jump into it, if you do want to help support the channel and to see more videos, please subscribe below the video. It means a lot. Also, comment with your opinions. Let me know what you think. And also, like the video if it deserves it. Now, let's get into this one here. So, North Korea executes two teenagers for evil crime of watching foreign films. Two teenagers have been executed by firing squad in North Korea for watching and distributing the South Korean films. Witnesses were forced to watch as the boys aged 16 and 17 were killed immediately after being sentenced for the crime on an airfield in Hyosan. That's horrible. This is, yeah. And I think people forget how bad, like, North Korea is now that, you know, this stuff's going on in Russia, that people hear about the things in China, because that's obviously what the media are highlighting, right? And here's old little North Korea still there, fully manipulating their people. I mean... The other World Cup, people literally thought that their soccer team had won the World Cup and beat Brazil like 7-1 in the final. They literally used highlights because Germany beat Brazil that year 7-1, I believe. They used the highlights from that, replaced it with their players, and made it look like they won 7-1. So all their people are celebrating this massive occasion like they won the World Cup. Little old North Korea who suck beat them. I think the people that have come through and probably seen it you'd be you'd be devastated right thinking that your country won the world cup and then that happens just being lied to and lied to constantly while the executions took place in october information about the killings only emerged last week and come amid a crackdown on foreign media by king jong un's dictatorship another male teenager of similar age was also executed for killing his stepmother well i guess that's not that bad because he did kill his stepmother but locals were told the two crimes were equally evil. Wow. Murdering someone is the same as watching and distributing foreign films. That's insane. The witnesses forced to witness the executions confirmed the horrific killings to Radio Free Asia. One said the residents of Hyosan, located to the north of the country near the Chinese border, were gathered in groups on the runway. They said the authorities put the teen age students in front of the public sentenced them to death, and immediately shot them. That's messed up. And you know what the worst thing is too, is that South Korea is actually making some of the best films out there, out of any country, period. I mean, the movies and stuff coming out of America and Hollywood suck so bad. I mean, when was the last time there was a good comedy? When was the last time there was actually a good movie where it's not filled with politics, politics, politics constantly? I, I couldn't even tell you. I literally couldn't even tell you. Nowadays, you know when a Marvel movie comes out, it's going to be some sort of agenda in it. Whenever there's a new movie of anything coming out, you know, all right, they're going to pander to something here and they're going to try and please some sort of people instead of just making a movie that's good. Like, for example, I'll show you a couple of movies here that I like from Korean directors and also like, you know, obviously, so Snowpiercer, that was a great movie. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. It's one of those movies you can watch once and really enjoy it. Squid Game, obviously the show, very good show, obviously was hyper-polarized and became massively famous because of Netflix and all that. Old Boy, um, it actually got an American remake, but this movie is, is solid, very, very good movie. Memories of Murder, like if you love your crime and all that type of movie, definitely watch that as well. And then Train to Busan, if you enjoy zombie movies, things like that, and just action this is another great movie. And they're acting. I'm not going to lie. Like the, the South Korean actors are like solid. Very, very good actors. But yeah, I'll digress. Let me know what you think about this. Do you think killing someone should ever be put in the same sentence even as someone that's just distributing and watching foreign films? Like it's insane. And they're only 16 and 17 years old. You got their whole lives in front of them. It's horrible, man. Let me know what you think below. Like the video if you liked it, and also subscribe if you do want to see my future videos. Thank you for watching.